In this lesson, we'll be looking at proofs involving even and odd numbers. First off, let's just start with a simple definition of what does it really mean for a number to be even or odd. One thing you may know about even numbers is even numbers are always a multiple of two. With that said, our official definition for an even number will say that if you have an integer n, then n is equal to two times k for some integer k. In other words, if we have an even integer, that just means it is twice some other integer. If we have an odd integer, odd integers are always somehow relatable to an even integer and in that they're one higher. For every odd integer, the previous integer is even. With that said, for the integer n to be odd, we would have n equals 2k plus 1. Let's use these in a proof. If you need a review of proof techniques, please see my previous videos. First off, the product of two odd integers is odd. You might think about this for a moment and try it. Try multiplying two odd numbers together and notice that every single time you get an odd number. Let's go through this proof. First off, we'll need to choose two arbitrary integers and assume that they're odd. Let m and n be odd integers. Remember that when I use the word let, I'm generally saying that m and n are going to be arbitrary. We don't know anything about them other than they are odd integers. Now let's write down what that means. Then m equals 2k plus 1 and n equals 2l plus 1 for some integers k and l. Note that I cannot use k twice as m and n might be different odd integers. So I need to use a different value where first I use 2k plus 1, but then I need to use some different integer. So I'll use 2l plus 1 instead. Now the question is saying that the product of these two odd integers is odd. So somehow I need to show that the product is odd. Well, if I'm going to show a product, let's multiply them. So m times n equals 2k plus 1 times 2l plus 1. I'm just putting in what I just called them earlier. Now let's simplify this. If I multiply this out, the first term is 2k times 2l, which is 4kl. The outer term is 2k. The inner term is 2l. And the last term is 1. So what do we do with that? Somehow we need to make a claim that this complicated expression here is an odd number. Remember, when we say that a number is odd, it means that it's two times an integer plus one for some integer. What that means is what I really want to do is somehow take this expression and write it as two times some integer plus one. Here's how I'll do it. Let's factor a two out of this expression. I get two times two K L plus K plus L and then I've still got my plus one. Now while this may look a little bit strange, I really do have two times something, that something must be an integer, plus one. So as long as I know that this is an integer, I have that this m times n is an odd number. The property that we usually cite is the property called closure, which basically says if you multiply two integers, you still get an integer. If you add two integers, you still get an integer. So here's how I would write this. Since 2kl plus k plus l is an element of the integers, again by closure, we have that m times n is odd. And that's the end of our proof. All we had to do was take the two numbers in such a way that they were arbitrary but odd, and then show that their product was again something of two times an integer plus one. Here's our next statement to prove. For any n in the integers, if n squared is odd, then n is odd. Now the issue that we have here is that it's going to be kind of hard to work from n squared back to n. n squared being odd, I could write n squared as a 2k plus 1 or something like that. But the issue is, is that then somehow I have to get to n, and square roots aren't really very useful here. 
So somehow I need to think in a different way. Maybe some sort of indirect argument. What I'll use here is the contrapositive. My contrapositive is, if n is even, then n squared is even. Remember the contrapositive is the idea that you switch the order of the if then, and you negate both statements. So I have if n is even, then n squared is even. Now let's prove the contrapositive. First thing I need to do is simply choose an arbitrary n from the integers. Let n be an element of the integers and assume n is even. Well, what does that mean? Remember, for an even number, that means it's equal to twice some integer. Then, n equals 2k for some k in the integers. Now, from there, I'm trying to show that n squared is even. So let's calculate n squared. We know that n is equal to 2k, so we get n squared is equal to 2k squared. That's easy enough to simplify. Square the 2, square the k. Now, somehow, I need to show that this is even. Again, the idea is for a number to be even, you have to have two times some integer. What is that some integer? Well, it's going to be two times 2k squared. So here you have it. You've got n squared is equal to two times some integer. That's all I need. Since 2k squared is an element of the integers, by closure, n squared is even. And that's the end of my proof. And remember that even though we did the contrapositive, we did prove the original statement because the contrapositive is logically equivalent to the original statement. Thus, we really did prove that if n squared is odd, then n is odd. And your reader generally picks up that since you proved the contrapositive, that means you also proved the original statement. There's no need to write that in your actual proof.